Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with some more hockey. And this is Franchise Hockey Manager 7. Now, if you remember, previously I had introduced Franchise Hockey Manager 6. And I told you I was kind of wishy-washy about how I felt about it in comparison to like Stratomatic Hockey or other hockey games. And by the way, I will uh, put that video in the end card in case you want to go back and see that and uh, see what my thoughts were and um, the uh, look of Franchise manage Hockey Manager 6. But this is 7, and I got to say, I like this a lot better. This game is awesome. I like this better than Stratomatic Hockey, um, the Stratomatic Computer Hockey. Uh, this is really this is really a good game, and they improved it. The biggest improvement that they made was that they have the full ice surface, and they have the logos of the team of the home team um, on the ice surface. Because if, if you remember on the Hockey Manager Six, they really only showed like half of the ice wherever the you know the half of the ice where the action was happening they didn't show the whole ice surface <clears throat> they didn't have a uh, they didn't have the team logo in the uh in the middle of the ice so this is a lot better so i'm doing an islander season and this is a preseason game that we are going into against the florida panthers um you can see down here we had a preseason game against Chicago previously we won four to two and we also won a game before that let's see if we can uh, if we I can bring that up um, let's see schedule here's our schedule and yes that was against st. Louis we beat st. Louis for nothing then we beat Chicago four to two and now we are playing Florida and this is all preseason here. And uh, yeah, I mean, I am really, I love this game, at least from what I've seen of it so far. And, you know, and this is, I, it, this is strange. I want to get everybody's opinion of this out there. Um, when you play, everybody who plays like hockey, like a simulation hockey, whether it's computer or whether it's, um, uh, whether it's card and dice, and if you also play baseball, like a simulation baseball, computer baseball, or any kind of computer baseball, or any kind of uh, card and dice baseball, for me, I really, to me, in the hockey, it doesn't matter as much if the statistics are accurate. And I don't know why that is. In baseball, I do want to see that. I want to see, in baseball, I want to see the statistics be somewhere in the, you know, in the right ballpark or where, where they should be. And I want to see the, um, and I said, I want to see the win-loss records for the teams in a baseball simulation be about what they should be. In hockey, strangely, it doesn't matter whether they're, accurate or they're not i just like playing the game and whatever stats it generates it generates whatever win loss records for the teams it generates it generates although i i mean the islanders are a good team and they are 2-0 and in preseason so there is that um also i want to point out and we'll go through this uh we'll look at take a look at the schedule um the uh it looks like this schedule is not the actual, this is supposed to be the 2020 season, but this does not look like it's going to simulate the actual 2020 season. First of all, the season is starting in October. And as you know, this real 2020 hockey season started in January. So, um, and we're playing like we're playing Winnipeg and we're playing Edmonton and we're playing Florida teams that are not in our division, in the 2020 division. So, 
Uh, this is obviously uh, the game was made with the intention of 2020 just being a regular season, which I guess, I don't know, maybe they didn't know if it was going to be or not when they made the game. I'm not sure. But if you go back and you play out of the park baseball 2020 season, that is a 60 game schedule. It's the real actual schedule that um, the teams used in 2020. So, um, but I'm not complaining. I like, you know, I want to play all the teams. I want to play a regular schedule, regular 80, whatever it is, 82 game schedule. Um, now in this game, and as you know, if, if you watch the channel and you've seen my out of the park baseball, you know that I'm just the manager in baseball. However, in the hockey, you don't have the option of just being the head coach. You can either be the general manager and the head coach or you can be the general manager. So I'm just the general manager. But if I don't, I really do not like messing with the math, the you know, the uh, the uh, financials of the uh, organization. So I do turn a lot of the responsibility over to my assistant. And if we go to that, you will see. Let's see here. Okay, so now you can see I am set to play the game at Florida. Now this is uh, all the lines and everything. Now I'm not the coach at all. I'm just the GM. So the coach, the coach makes the all the uh, lines and everything, which is, that's fine with me. So, um, yeah. So up here you've got, let's see here. Um, we do have things that I can do. Well, anyway, we're going to continue. And you can see it's going to be uh, Varlamov in goal for us. And Barzal is our, uh, what are they, star player? Yeah, obviously. They've got Barkov as their star player, and Bobrovsky will be in net for them. I'll just take this out of the way for a second so you can see what's over here. Players and staff, it's just got, you know, pregame notes about it. Um, that kind of thing. So we're going to go to play game. And we are going to go to options, speed fast, sound low. That's what I want. So, yeah, I mean, I think we're ready to go. Now, the speed is on fast because on normal, even on normal, it is uh, excruciatingly slow. It's like regular 15-minute or 20-minute period. So, but this is really cool. I mean, you know, we're at Florida. So there they are. There's the, you know, the um, logo in the middle of the ice. And you can see all the players moving around. And it gives you right here, you know, uh, it gives you a description of what's going on. And uh, it's really cool. I mean, I, I really like this. I think they've made a lot of improvements to this game from what um, Hockey Manager 6 was. Because for me, the looks are a lot of what's, you know, what is involved with it. Um, and that's the same with Out of the Park. If you've heard me talk about Out of, out of the Park Baseball, you know that I talk about how it looks more realistic, the, real, the, the look of it is more realistic than Stratomatic, or, you know, a lot of other games that you would see. Um, now here, it doesn't, you know, it just shows squares for the players, but that's fine. I mean, there's only so much they can do. You know, and this is not going to be better than some of those, uh, you know, the, the, some of the other computer games, uh, some of the other hockey, um, hockey games like NHL, whatever, the updated NHL, whatever, 2021 or whatever would be um it doesn't have that it's not that realistic looking 
But of course, those games are based on your ability to play the game and control the players. More so than it is what their statistics were. This game is probably more like, see, right now I'm not doing anything. I'm just watching the game. And, uh, and this game is based more on the statistics of the players and how they would actually tell them go. And I'm not going to try to read the bottom of it, you know, because... All right, we got a two-minute... There's a two-minute penalty on Ekblad. Awesome. All right. Six minutes and 30 seconds left in the first period. And see, this is why, because, you know, I, this video, I don't want it to be forever. But this is... But, I, you know, I can sit here and watch this for, you know, a, a long time. Barlamov with some saves, some key saves. Bobrovsky with a save. Bobrovsky not even really that good. I mean, statistically, the last few years, he hasn't been um, as good as he was in his heyday with Columbus. So, although really winning this game is not that important because it's a preseason game, but um, we will we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it as far as, you know, um, winning during the regular season, but if we win here, you gotta, you know, you gotta like our chances as a team for winning when the season starts. Okay, so that's the end of the first period, and it's nothing, nothing. So we will go into the second, and I'm going to say, play. Face off at center ice. Nobody able to break through yet. Be interesting to see. I, I think Floyd is still alive. And as we are speaking right here, as I'm well, no, act well, yes. Oh, they scored. Goal scored by Barkov. Hmm. As I am taping this, but this is you know is probably going up a day or two later, or three. Um, as I'm taping this, the. Islanders are winning 5-3 in the third period against the Penguins, um, and they're up three games to two in their series. And also, I think Florida made the playoffs as well in their division. So at some point, the Islanders may be playing the Florida Panthers um, in the uh, in the uh, Stanley Cup uh, the Stanley Cup playoffs. That would be interesting. We played him a few years ago and beat him. Forget exactly what year that was. I want to say it was 2015, maybe 2015. So here we are moving it around. A lot of action here. Love it. And this is, uh, you know, it's a little too fast for my liking because you only have the, I mean, you have different levels. You have, all right, we scored. Yeah, Barzal. Barzal with a goal and the assist by Bolivier and Pelmeri. So there's 11.50 left in the second period and it's tied 1-1. I will probably quick sim the uh, third period. I mean, it's, you know, it's a preseason game. But I do like to give everybody a good look at the game. Really love this. And right now, you can get um, Hockey Manager 7, Franchise Hockey Manager 7 for $20. It's on sale. And I wait, I purposely waited until it was on sale because it came out um, earlier. Hooking Palmieri, two-minute warning, or two-minute uh, penalty. So, uh... It came out earlier, and uh, it was like forty dollars when it first came out. And but I know that the price always goes down, so I waited till it dropped in half, and then I got it, and they score. All right, they're ahead two one. Seven forty five left in the second period. Saved by Barlama. So I like how this guy's going in when he's got five guys all draped all over him. And he's still holding the puck and going. 
Two to one. Come on. Come on. All right. That shot missed. And another thing I like about this is I don't have to do anything. Like, even when they have a face-off, they just automatically do the face-off. In the strat hockey, um, although I don't know if there's an option to bypass that, but in the strat hockey, every time there's a stoppage in the action and, and a face-off, you have to sit, you have to hit, um, you know, you have to hit one of the buttons, like um, begin play or whatever. All right, so that's the end of the uh, second period. It's two to one. I'm going to say sim to the end. And it says, do you want, are you sure you want to? And I say yes, because it's a preseason game. And we ended up winning 3-2. Nice. Go to end game. And uh, let's see. So anyway, here's here's what you got. So we are undefeated now, still in uh, preseason. It would have been nice to see the, our, our comeback, but, you know, it's a preseason game. I will, from time to time, put games up when I have, when there's a lull in my video schedule. Um, but I did want to show everybody this game because it's awesome. So the stars of the game were Barzal got... Uh, one star, um, uh, Duclair got two stars, and three stars for Bailey. So, um, and of course it lists our records as zero, zero, and zero with zero points because this is just the preseason. So, um. So there you go. Um, let's go back to Travis Zajac is injured. Please check the uh, lineup. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's. I think that's for the coach to do. But anyway. So anyway, that's uh, a look at franchise hockey manager seven, part of the out of the park um, production company or out of the park productions or whatever they call it. But uh, just wanted to show that to everybody because I think this game is awesome. It's one of the better hockey games I've seen. It kicks butt on uh, Franchise Hockey Manager 6, in my opinion. I was, um, if they hadn't done this with the, um, you know, showing the entire ice surface and the logo in the middle and, all of that, the graphics, if they hadn't improved the graphics the way they had, I probably would not have gotten Franchise Hockey Manager 7. But now, yeah, I'm definitely going to take uh, the Islanders through a season and will every now and then um, update you with a, uh, you know, throw a video up and, and update where we are and what we're doing. But anyway, that's it for me for right now. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.